I am Jade Thirlwall and you're watching Mariners TV. Okay, so Tom's welcome to the club. Can you sort of describe your, your feelings after joining? Um, no, I'm really happy and like, it's over the line now. It's, it took a little bit of time, but I'm just glad and, to be here and settled. Bit of a frustrating time waiting for international clearance. Can you give a bit of an insight into what what that's like as a player to have to wait? Yeah, it's been it's been frustrating. It's happened to me before, but obviously it's not took as long as it took this time. But I'm just glad that obviously now that I'm signed and sealed at the club and stuff because it's been a long year for me. Obviously not playing and stuff like that. So I'm just happy to be here really. You you, need, you needed that clearance because your last club was in Italy. Can you yeah. give a bit of an idea into your background and what you were doing in Italy? Um, yeah, my last club was in Italy. Obviously, um, before lockdown, I was playing out there and I enjoyed my time out there. But obviously, because of the circumstances with lockdown, I had to come home. So, but before then, I've been at um, was at Burnley for nine years, Man United Academy, City's Academy, and been on loan a few clubs like Wrexham, York, Dover, Orkham play at Charlie as well so and played out in Belgium. Mm-hmm. Um so yeah I've been I've been a few clubs <laughs> a bit of a journeyman but yeah I'm just glad to be here like I said. Also you're joining a squad that includes Nathan Lowe, somebody you know from, from your time at Burnley in the past. Was that influential in making your decision to come here? Yeah, do you know what funnily enough Nathan actually messaged me um about coming here and obviously persuaded me to, you know, come down and have a look and stuff like that and obviously as soon as I got down here and seen the facilities and obviously the way things operate around here and the players that we have on board, then for me it was a no-brainer. I wanted to get signed up straight away. So credit to Nathan and, and Luke Daly, to be fair, because I spoke to Luke Daly as well and he said nothing but good things about the club. So, yeah. You mentioned about what, what attracted you to this club. Obviously the facilities are one of the things that you mentioned. What is it about this club that sort of sets it apart from others at this level for the facilities, would you say? Um, for me, the massive thing's full-time. Obviously the fact that we're full-time and stuff like that. Wherever I've played, it's always been full-time. So having that environment in this league um, is unbelievable. And then to back it up, the facilities that we've got, obviously a training ground. A lot of clubs that I've played at in higher leagues have don't you have a tra- uh, training ground for themselves so just to have the, the pitches the 3G and then obviously the new stand at the stadium is amazing for um, for our club you mentioned you've been on quite a few clubs obviously the two clubs abroad one in Italy and one in Belgium how much do you take from those two experiences? Um, I took a lot um, from both of them actually because when I went to Belgium I was still quite young and so it's a different style of football different environment you have to learn a different language and stuff like that so I took quite a lot from there in Italy as well. Obviously, the fact it's more Italy was more mental aspect because of COVID and stuff like that. So, and I had an international clearance situation as well over there. So it was quite tough at times because you know, obviously the situation in Italy was really really bad at the time that I was there. So I seen quite a lot of things, um, but mentally it, it it put me in good stead, yeah. Obviously a long time without playing over the last year and a half or so, a lot of footballers would have been in a, in a similar boat. What was that like for you mentally to not be able to, to play um, football? It was difficult, it was it was really difficult for me because I've played football a lot of my life since I was a young boy and obviously I went through a difficult period over the year, obviously losing um, a family member and stuff like that, um, which was also a footballer so it was really hard but um, I'm just thankful for the people that are around me because they, you know, they kept me strong. I kept training and doing my bit, and obviously just thankful for the club for giving me the opportunity to come here and play football. And your time in Italy came to an end because of COVID. Really, kind of give a bit of an insight into what that period was like. Also, you mentioned that it was really difficult in Italy at the time. Um, it was. It was strange because um, obviously, like where I was, they they ran out of masks. So literally, like the whole region had run out of masks. So like I got a police escort from my hotel straight to the to the airport on the last day and I was just glad to be home to be honest. Like, I I loved it out there but obviously people are dying around you and stuff like that and you, when that stuff's happening you don't really think about football, you think about your family and stuff like that. So it was just nice to get back home and stuff and see that everyone's um, sound and well. Obviously now football's starting up for you again at, at South Shields. How much have you enjoyed getting involved with the lads over the last few weeks and how much are you looking forward to, to really getting going? Yeah, now? I've I've really enjoyed um, the last couple of weeks in pre-season. It's been it's been tough, but um, the morale's great here. The lads are great, and everybody's really welcomed me and took me into the group. So, and I believe that we have 
the quality in this team to obviously achieve what we want to uh, ultimately achieve at the end of the season, which is promotion. Do you sense a big motivation among the squad as well after the, the way the last two seasons ended? Yeah, definitely. You can you can feel it like in training every day. Like everybody just wants to win, and that's there's nothing better than being in a team full of winners and people that want to win because it makes you go that extra mile for the next person um, next to you. So yeah, definitely. I see you're an experienced player at a higher level than this, but a lot of fans of South Shields might not have seen you play before. So can you give a bit of an insight into what your playing style is like and what they can expect from you? Um, I just, when I'm on the pitch, I give it my all. and I, I like to run in behind, cause um, defenders problems and that make their, make their, um, their Saturday, <laughs> Saturday um, evenings uh, difficult and stuff like that. And I like to score goals. I like to get in the box and stuff like that. So, yeah. Obviously, one of our former players, Jason Gilbert, had a great partnership with Nathan Lowe, which dated back to their time at Burnley. Yeah. You've got that relationship with Nathan Lowe as well. Do you, do you have that idea in your mind that it could be a, a bit of a potent partnership? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I mean, it's it's good to play with players that you know from the past. Obviously, I, I also played with Gilly, funnily enough, and, and Luke Daly. Um, but the fact that Nathan is still here and that's someone that I, I played in the youth team with, so he knows me very well, very well. And I know him very well, so I think... Hope, I'm hoping that obviously we work together well. Pre season just around the corner now, the first game's coming up on, on Tuesday. How important are these few games going to be in terms of shaking off that bit of rust over that might have developed over the last year or so? Yeah, it's, de- it's definitely important. These games that are coming up, um, it's not like a jolly up, it's, it's a serious game. Even though it's pre season, it's good like, to start off on the front foot as well. On, um, so we'll, we'll definitely be wanting to win the games. Obviously, you're delighted to be here, but you've, you've had quite a few clubs over the last few years. How, how important is it for you now to sort of sort of lay down some roots and really make this place your home, would you say? Yeah, it's definitely important for me. Um, obviously, coming here and settling down, I, I, I want to enjoy my football again and I want to be in a place where I feel like it's going forward. And I know for sure that this club, obviously speaking to the manager and the chairman and even the, the players and stuff like that, it's going in the right direction. So I think it's perfect for me to be here. Just finally looking ahead to the season, obviously there's a big fan base here, we're expecting quite big crowds this season as well, hopefully once the restrictions ease. Yeah. How much have you heard about them and how much are you looking forward to playing in front of them? Do you know what? I actually heard about the club probably three, four years ago, I think when they went to the FA Vars. Yeah. yeah, so when I and I seen the amount of um fans that turned up to that game, so it, it's amazing and you know, the fans are so important, obviously Every club's missed fans this season, um, so to have them back in um, with us, I'm sure it'll give us it'll be that 12th man that we need in in, in big games and other games also.